Yeah, I'm good, yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'm good. Just all on a, you know, trusting the process of the recovery. It's nothing really crazy, nor scary, or you know, to hold me out from you know doing anything. But uh, just something to kind of stay in front of. Obvious question: How's that look? <laughs> like that? He's back. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you say he looks like Dak, and then he's back? What did he do out there today to make you say that he's back? Uh, he's for sure made some throws, big time throws, one on ones, team periods. Um, you know, he feels confident and. I mean, he, overall, he's he's excited to be back out there with us, and uh, you know that's ultimately best feeling ever. I know you appreciate what Cooper was able to do and what this team was able to do with him out, but is there assistance excitement with him coming back about now? We're we're all ready to ride, and let's see how this goes. We're always excited, uh, especially when we get one of our troopers back, uh, and definitely at the quarterback position is big. Um, you know, in the league, in this league, it's definitely the offense is ran through the quarterback, and to have Dak back is you know it's huge. Uh, you know, practices, you know, up tempo. Same as, you know, as with Coop, but with Dak, it's just like, you know, he's he's very passionate about this game. CD, when Dak was last playing, Gallup wasn't out there, the offensive line hadn't had the same settling. What can y'all do now that you couldn't do week one as an offense? Uh, we can grow. I feel like this is the only opportunity that we've had uh, MG and Dak back. Uh, we're still waiting on, you know, a couple guys as like Tyron. Um, you know, we still, trying to get our, all our pieces back. But uh, ultimately, just do what we have with the pieces we have. And, you know, and I feel like I have great confidence in everybody in this locker room, and I know they're going to put their best foot forward every Sunday, especially this one. CD, what has it been like seeing him come back after this injury? What has his message been to everybody really this entire time that he's been waiting to return? Honestly, just come on, come ready to work every day. Because, uh, you know, obviously he has all the energy and the emotion and the you know, the, the, the buzz to ready to play. Um, he hasn't played since week one, and uh, we play like five games after. So I know for him, he has a lot of, you know, things he want to get off his chest, and I know he's been hearing a lot of craziness. So you talk about that. <laughs> What's been crazy? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> come on, bro. Y'all knock it off. <laughs> In some ways, is it almost like now he can have that chip on his shoulder? Like, even if it's a fake one, like, it can be motivating to go prove it? Most definitely. Um, coming back from any injury, you, you definitely want to have a chip on your shoulder and a little pep on your step. And um, Dak, he's got that. You know, um, he's running around in between drills. Uh, smiling, laughing, cheering, and um, every time we in a huddle, he's congratulating everybody just for being in the huddle. You know, it's tough. Every opportunity, you know, you never know what's going to happen at the end of the play. So, just being out there, being grateful, and uh, playing with the guys. Has there been any added juice to practice this week with him back? Uh, not necessarily. Um, still hitting our keys, hitting our points, and trying to, you know, be the best team, or the best team. Yeah, be the best team. I'm um, going into, you know, the week, and uh, this week we got him back, and uh, like I said. We're just focusing on our keys and trying to be better every week. He got medically cleared on Wednesday. Did he come in with like a little bit of an extra pep that day? Nah, he been having this pep. It's like he knew. I mean, obviously, he knows when he's coming back. But, like, he, he's very secretive at times about, you know, some things being, you know, released. But uh, we obviously knew uh, before the media did. But he's for sure happy as hell to be when back. When did you really know when he started going to the football pregame? Uh, no, I knew a little bit before that, um, maybe a week or two before, just understanding throughout this process, just watching him throughout the process and uh, realizing, like, the things he's been gradually getting better. Uh, like, he went from, like, a Nerf ball to, like, a real football, and then before he started throwing, he was just throwing it up. Small things, you know, you just got to watch him, and then, boom, it hit the media that, and I was like, yeah, go figure. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm I'm great. I'm ready to go. Um, all my guys, you know, we're healthy. We're ready to go. We Did talk you? about noise, CD, and you know, we talked about like pre heading into the season, the noise with the receivers and how they were doubted. And we talked about that with Dak. You know, for all he's done, there's still this portion of the fan base that seems to hate on him. Well, how, how do you wrap your mind around why that is? You're not slick, bro. But <laughs> but. <laughs> It's always going to be noise until we prove different, you know, and um, everyone's going to have their own opinion as they're entitled. But, I mean, the only way you can, you know, say anything is go prove them wrong. A lot of these talking heads on ESPN are saying the Cowboys offense shouldn't change anything from what they did with Cooper Rush. How do you feel about that? 
the Cowboys offense is going to be the Cowboys offense. Uh, I feel like we're going to do whatever we got to do to, you know, put numbers up and uh, have fun while doing it. TD, you said you feel good. Were you able to participate in team periods today? What could and couldn't you do? And if you were able to catch from Dak, take us through a play. I did. I did. I did. I had a full, I was full go today. Um, nothing really was restricting me. It's all on my load, personally, how I feel about it, um, going through our practice. And uh, me just being a competitor, like, I'm never going to take myself out. So just going through our practice, um, I felt good. felt pretty, you know, explosive, if you will, fast, just running around. What's something in team periods you and Dak were able to do together? Really just connect again. Um, and that was probably the biggest thing, just understanding he, he, he was gone for five weeks. And, um, you know, just coming back, just kind of getting his arm back, and then me getting back on the time of Dak. So just kind of figuring each other out again and, you know, just shake back. With Dak back, one. is it something of a clean slate for your guys' struggles on third down, just kind of improve in that area and kind of press the reset button there moving forward? Uh, I feel like we can improve in all areas um, as a whole. And um, having him back, I feel like that's definitely one of the key components that could do, you know, play a huge part. And uh, third downs, we, we know as a team we got to be better. And uh, we're looking forward to doing that as we, you know, go through the rest of the season. Thanks, CD.